Welcome back everyone, I'm Shortcut Sherry and it's another Tip Tuesday. In today's tip, we're gonna show you how to automate creating a task in Planner based on a conversation in Microsoft Teams. The inspiration for this comes from the team that I worked with at a local nonprofit and managing all of the requests that they used to get for creating digital assets. For our example, the sales and marketing team manages campaigns and they're constantly asking for digital assets to be created for them for their campaigns and their social media. So how do we automate that? The design team uses a planner board to track those requests. So we've set that up. We have a logos bucket, a banners bucket, and a social media bucket. Let's go ahead and create a flow that's gonna connect the two. From Power Automate, click the templates link. and then search for Planner. Your results may look different, but the one that I'm looking for is clear at the bottom. And it says, create a planner task when a channel starts with to do. Let's select the template. Office 365 should be able to authenticate you. If it does not, you won't see the green check marks. You will see a link that says sign in. We're authenticated. So we can click the continue button. The first thing that we need to do is to designate which team we want to monitor. In this case, it's going to be the sales and marketing team. You can either search for or select your team. And then which channel would you like to monitor? In our example, it's going to be campaigns. You can monitor multiple channels if you need to. Just click the new item option. Next, we need to tell it where we want to create the task. The group that we want to create the task is the design group. And then use the digital assets request plan and click create. The flow has now been created for us from the template. In the upper right hand corner we have an issue and it says there's a problem with the trigger. This hasn't been triggered in the last 28 days because we just created it, so it should be okay. Let's go back to Teams. Now we need to create a post that has to do as the first four letters. And then press enter. I get a pop-up letting me know that the Power Automate has replied to my conversation and the task has been created. Let's look at Power Automate and it confirms that the flow ran just a few seconds ago and it succeeded. Let's see if it worked. We now have a new task in the no bucket bucket, which is a weird bucket, but because it doesn't know where to place it, it puts it in the no bucket bucket. All I need to do now is drag it to the right bucket and then assign it to a person. I hope you found this helpful. We'll see you next week on Tip Tuesday. In the meantime, check out the cool events that we have coming up. And until next time, I'm Shortcut Sherry, and it's my job to make your job easier.